Hello everyone, my name is Ron Kilowell and thank you for subscribing, thank you for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Need you. <laughs> I need you to subscribe. Um, so today we're going to be talking about how to network effectively at networking events. And I'm going to give you a few of my own tips, but obviously pick and choose. Do it. <laughs> do them all. <laughs> um, and they're really easy and hopefully they'll give you a bit more encouragement um, when you're out there networking for your business or professionally. Okay, so my first tip is be prepared. So I have been prepared, so I'm going to be prepared now. <laughs> okay, take two, <laughs> be prepared. Business cards, business cards. These are all of the business cards that are dropping out of my hand. Oh, I feel rich, oh, business cards. <laughs> um, whenever you go to a networking event, make sure you have some business cards. And if you don't want business cards, flyers. Um, a pen with your logo on it, or I was going to say a resume, but maybe not a resume. Or fully charged mobile phone to take someone's contact details. But preferably, preferably, I would really want you to have your own business cards. I mean, I've always tried to steer away from business cards because I really do like just the whole idea of just keeping people's contact details via email straight onto social media. But people just love holding cards, and actually, they work. So be prepared. Next, be confident. Everyone at a networking event is just like you. They're all going there to do the same thing that you're going to do. They're going there to meet people and to, to raise their visibility, their brand profiles, and to market themselves. So be confident. Be confident and assured in who you are and what you're doing. Um, I'm sure you're great. I'm going to take it as given. So you have to believe it. Once you have the confidence in yourself, Wherever you go, it's going to be so much easier to interact with other people and meet new people, okay? Once you're at a networking event, listen. I understand the desire to want to sell, 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 but you've got to listen to. Networking is about relationship building, okay? It's not a quick fix. It's not a hard sell immediately. And quite often people become a bit discouraged. Say what it is you're trying to do, what you're trying to do um, to yourself before you get there. But obviously when you're there, you want to meet and interact with people and build relationships. So listen to other people, get their contact details, find out how you can help others and make friends, make business friends or professional friends. And those relationships, I guarantee, will flourish. You'll get referrals, you'll get people who will remember you because you actually cared enough to listen. So listen. And finally, follow up. Once you've left your, your networking event and you've got all these wonderful business cards that are making you feel rich, rich, rich. <laughs> Make sure you follow up. So tag them on Twitter, um, find them on LinkedIn, write them an email, find a, find a way of maybe meeting later on. So if you found somebody who you really connected with, find a, a range of dates to meet for a tea or a coffee or a piece of cake um, and follow up. Basically, that's really what I'm trying to do, is follow up. So be prepared, business cards, nice attire, make, make sure you look nice, be confident, be confident, just be confident. Listen, listen to what the people are saying to you when you're there, don't just listen to yourself, and follow up. So afterwards, make sure that you set a date to engage with this person, maybe meet with them later, or just keep in contact, you know? Emails are always good. One word of warning, finally, don't just chase people, or add them onto your newsletters, or become a bit of a Desperado, okay? It's about relationship building. So make sure you ask people before, for instance, you start adding people onto your newsletter or you do, you even ask them if you can find them on, on LinkedIn. Some people are a bit funny with their data. So make sure that you, you've got people's permission before you start adding them to lists. That's my little sidebar, a little word of warning. But aside from that, have fun. Just have fun. Out of all of these things, have fun. And get networking, because networking works.